Hello one and hello all and welcome to another origami adventure. Now we're going to continue from uh, last time with our dinosaur theme and today we're going to be making the uh, Brachiosaurus, the one with the big neck. Um, this is a big dinosaur so you will need three uh, pieces of uh, paper, all the same size and all square as always. Uh, one for the head, one for the tail and one for the body. Now. First, we're going to be looking at the head and the tail because they're the easiest ones to make. And you will need two of these ice cream cone shaped pieces. Now, these are quite easy to make. Um, this one is going to be folded already, but uh, you fold paper in half along the middle like that. Open it back up, fold this side in, fold this side in, and then just fold it over again along the center line. It gives a nice shape. So, we can use this now to make the tail. First, fold this side over into the center, like so. You want to kind of make sure that the point at the top stays uh, sharp, um, particularly on the head. The tail's not so important, but uh, like this, and then this one over again can be a bit tricky, uh, simply because it's quite thick. There you go. Take this, fold the point over so it connects with this kind of corner piece, like that, and then just fold the whole thing over itself to give you the tail. Yeah, you want to be careful with the point at the end. It does tend to get a bit messy, but uh, there you go, that is your Brachiosaurus tail. The head. Take your other cone. On this dot here, fold this top bit over, along the center line. Then fold it back on this point, uh, or as close as you can, like this, and then this down to here. Like that. Wonderful, wonderful. Then, as with the tail, fold it in on itself, and then you want to hold this and pull it out so yeah, you get this kind of shape. Now this is where it will connect to the body, so it's important to get this uh, groove nicely done. Now, the tricky part, the head. How do we turn a spike into a head? Well, open it, and you want to get it yeah, quite high up into this kind of beak shape as so and then just do it again so it goes inside like that um, it's a bit fiddly uh, admittedly but once you get it there you go that'll do uh, if you are quite good at this you can get it to come out again to create a small mouth but I find it it looks all right like that. Finally, the body. Now, the body starts, you know, take your paper, fold it in half, open it, fold it in half again. So you got this kind of shape. Then, take this side, fold it into the middle, like so. Um, you want to try and get it as close to perfect as you can. Um, not the end of the world if it isn't. Same on this side to give it a lovely rectangular shape. Um, yeah, sometimes having these pre-creased parts can make it a little bit tricky. Uh, the paper tends to fold uh, in directions you don't want it to, but uh, just take care. Take this end, fold it into the center, like so. And the same on this side to create this lovely square. Then fold these over so the top layer forms two uh, small triangles. Oh dear. Yeah, be careful on these corners uh, again because uh, they can crease in the wrong direction if you're not too careful. Oh dear. Now you can already see uh, you've got the four triangles for the four legs, but uh, we need to get them out here and out here simply by going underneath and folding it over like this. Oh my god, it worked the first time. I'm happy with myself there. And then you've got to do the same with the other three. Okay, we got our four points. Now these are going to be the four legs. So if you fold 
kind of diagonally like this, this will be the foot. Um, it doesn't really matter how you do it, just make sure they're all kind of similar, I suppose. Um, yeah, there you go, there you go. Now, you will notice that uh, some of the white is visible here. Uh, that's just because I'm doing it very quickly. Uh, if you have more time, you know, um, well, just, just take your time and you won't have that problem. Uh, okay, so once you got this far, turn it over and fold it so it meets the center line, like so. Turn it over again and do the same on this side. Ugh, this is a tricky bit. There you go. So you got this kind of long shape with the four legs. Now this, this is actually the hardest part of the whole dinosaur. You need to unfold this like that and get this middle bit up so it creates a kind of triangle there. And you get this triangle here and triangle under there. Turn it over and do the same. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, you might want to take time on this bit. Uh, it's fiddly, fiddly, uh, but uh, there you go, there you go. Make sure you've got your feet going. All right, there's most of the body. Fold it over and you can see you've got your legs. Now, um, because the back is very straight, um, dinosaurs generally didn't have square bodies, you want to take this corner, fold it diagonally, both ways, so it creates a nice crease, open it up, and fold that backwards, so it goes inside, push it down from the top, yeah, um, think of these extra creases as skin effects, there you go, so you got the flat shoulder with the uh, slanted back. Now, because this is where the tail is going to go, you need to make this a little bit smaller. So just fold that bit on itself to hold the shape. And there you go. You got your body with your little feet. So now we must connect the body to the head and the tail. Now, uh, the instructions I looked at for making this one recommend using glue, but you don't have to if you are lucky. First of all, slide this under the front legs. Fold it over, holds it in shape, and then this one, as I mentioned with the groove here, just put it inside, oh, and slot it in, fold it down a bit, look at the tail up. Now hopefully, okay, now if you want it to stay together, got to pinch it by here, uh, it looks like that. Now, uh, because this paper is quite large, um, it is going to require uh, glue because the head is a bit too heavy. Um, if you use smaller paper, it tends to stay together without glue. Um, but uh, there you go, that's your general uh, Brachiosaurus. Uh, the legs themselves, uh, here the feet are actually quite large. Uh, you don't actually have to fold them that big, but uh, however you please. Let's see, can I get it to stand up without any glue? There you go. Perfect. And it didn't fall over. And here you are. Uh, we have Mr. Yellow, Mr. Orange, Mr. Light Pink, uh, the darker pink child, and the little tiny baby one in the back. Um, yeah, they're quite nice together. I also added some uh, origami grass just to give a nice atmospheric feel. Um, however, the background that came with the origami set is a little bit small for these, and they are very large. I just wanted to look at this one here. You see, on this one, I did the feet much smaller than on the uh, orange one, and it seems quite, uh, well, it, it seems to hold up quite well as well. Uh, this one is actually glued together um, because the head was too heavy. Um, the small one as well, the very small one, I had to use uh, glue on this bit because the grooves were too small. Um, but there you are. So, a lovely scenic dinosaur view. <sighs> Beautiful.